You saw it in the previous video for a little bit, and today it's gonna get its own 15 minutes. Today, we look at the Delonchamps Guitars SG style guitar. That is cool. What is up YouTube? My name is Buddy Blues and it's Small Business Tuesday. Not on a Tuesday. I don't know what day this is going to come out. <laughs> but today we go to Canada, also known as Canada if you're British and Canada. Morgan Delonchamps has been making guitars for longer than you and I have been alive. However, he's a young chap. He specializes in beautifully crafted acoustic guitars that I've been longing over for, for a very long time. I've been following his channel for quite a bit. He's also good friends with Nick Delisle. You've seen a few guitars on his channel. He, uh, Nick actually recommended me to do this. Thanks, Nick. So what have we got here? The shape is obvious, but it is not an SG copy. With that, I mean it's not the same exact body length. The body on this one is bigger and the neck is a touch smaller. What does that do? The whole classic neck dive that the SGs have, this doesn't do because he moved the button right here. Yeah, but you can do it too on your SG. I get it. I get it. I get it. I personally, if I'm buying a $3,000 Gibson, I'm not going to add, uh, or any guitar, I'm not going to add an extra hole to it. So I'm grateful that this is here. The other thing that it does, whenever I'm playing an SG, you never see one for a reason. Whenever I'm playing an SG, the way I play, it sits awkwardly. With me, an SG sits like this, okay? That isn't comfortable. And ladies and people, uh, you don't know this because I'm not a victim. <laughs> I have severe carpal tunnel in my left hand and tennis elbow and carpal tunnel in my right hand. So if a guitar doesn't fit well on me, no matter how good it sounds, no matter how good it looks, I do not buy it, which is why I don't have an SG because it just doesn't sit right with me ever. However, this one, the way he has it contoured here, and the way he has it contoured on the back, this little bevel thingy here, and how the neck is a bit recessed into the body and the body's bigger rather than small body, really long neck, it fits like a Strat. And you know I love my Strats. Guitar is 24.75 scale length, rosewood fretboard, mahogany neck, and okume body, which is kind of cool. Very lightweight. We have a Seymour Duncan in the neck and a TV Jones Powertron mini humbucker in the bridge and I love that combination. Two volumes, two tones, three-way switch in the middle. It's a bolt-on neck and he calls the color metallic sage green. Goto Tulip head tuners. And what I think the coolest thing about this guitar is the Italian tortoise shell, tortoise shell, I can never say it. Pick guard, pickup rings, binding on the neck, and inlays. That looks too cool, in my opinion. I don't know if this is his first venture into the electric guitar world, but he really did a damn good job. I love the way this plays. Neck is wider than anything I have played. This helps with chords, this helps with blah, blah, blah. This helps with fast runs and such like that. So it is something to note. Uh, another thing, if I wanna be nitpicky, is the switch is a little, for me, for me, I have big hands. Uh, the switch is a little bit hard to reach at times, but I mean, if you focus on it, you can get it. Uh, but then again, I'm a guy that's used to the Strat, so pinky up and down, that's it. Uh, let's, hear this thing, <laughs> we can talk all day. Uh, we can show you how cool it looks, but if it doesn't sound good, what's the point? Spoiler alert, it sounds excellent. I'm gonna go through the silk tone and I'm gonna run it through the Thorpe FX Dane because it has a boost on one side, then it has an overdrive, and I love both of these sounds. One of my favorite pedals, to be honest with you. Let's get to it.
Oh, my God. 
Oh, <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you have now heard the Delonchamp guitar, SG style guitar from Morgan Delonchamp. People in French, Delonchamp means off the long fields. Isn't this thing cool? Isn't this thing cool? It looks like it's, it, it, again, it's 24 and 75, the scale length, but it looks shorter. So I don't know if it's mental for me, it's easier to play. But, but I know it's not shorter. I mean, the physics tells me that it's not shorter. But I don't know, it, it kind of looks, the neck kind of looks recessed and the body's kind of big. It's comfortable. It's comfortable to play. It's comfortable to play standing up. It's comfortable to play sitting down. These days I'm doing a little bit less gigs and I'm doing a little bit more playing, sitting down, uh, recording stuff, doing this. Which again, which is why you'll never see a flying V here. They look cool, they're very impractical for me because sitting down is an impossibility. So I appreciate that about this guitar. And I appreciate you for being here. And I appreciate Morgan for letting me see this for a few days. I need to send it back to Canada. He doesn't know where I live. <laughs> he sent it to a PO box. Are you getting this back? What are you gonna do, sue me? Does he think Buddy Blues is my real name? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it was a pleasure having you here and it was a pleasure playing this guitar for you in several demos now. If this was your first Small Business Tuesday, welcome, if it's not, Welcome back. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Maybe you could consider subscribing, liking, sharing this video. Uh, what if someone likes uh, a green little monster that you think uh, he would uh, like to have this guitar? <laughs> I'm not keeping this one. You could buy it. You could buy it for that friend. You could buy it for my mother. I have been Buddy Blues. You have been the people of the blues. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.